I think the TED talk left quite big footsteps, <laughs> but I'll give my best. Also, Dratos did a really great show. I loved what they did with the light bulbs. <laughs> Next time I'll join them on stage with my t-shirt. So <laughs> I think you can really feel how those guys love what they are doing. And now I would like to invite you also to think about the things you love doing. For example, a hobby, making music, or like Tom, drawing. Something that you're passionate about, that is inspiring to you, maybe exciting, even funny. Something that makes you feel good. This is something that makes me feel good. The picture was taken last year when some friends of mine and me hiked up a beautiful summit called Drei Schwestern. It's here in Vorarlberg. It was amazing. I simply love being outside, experiencing the beauty of nature. This feeling, this smell, when you walk through a forest in the morning after a rainy night. Or this feeling climbing up a rocky wall in the middle of wilderness. It's such a pure experience. I love it. So, what are you passionate about? And how much time do you spend on those nice things? Is it one hour per week? Is it 10 hours per week? Is it even more? The big question is, why didn't you spend more time on those nice things last week? Perhaps the answer is because you didn't have more time, because you spent too much time on the things that simply needed to be done. Things that may be annoying or unpleasant. Being stuck in a traffic jam, for example, one of those really annoying things. In Germany, every driver spends 40 hours per year in traffic jams. What a waste of valuable lifetime. So what are the things in your life that steal your quality time? What is your balance between time spent on the things you love and time spent on the things that are unpleasant, annoying, stressful? Probably your balance changes also over time. You might have one week that is really nice, followed by one that is very stressful, annoying, really bad. In any case, wouldn't it be great if you could simply push a button to turn those gray, unpleasant activities into nice, pleasant, bright experiences. Here's some good news. Today, I'm going to talk about this technology, a technology that will help you to turn these bad things into nice experiences, a technology that will not fit into your pocket, a technology that is actually already everywhere today. It's inside of buildings, it's outside of buildings. It's in front of your faces. It's actually above your heads. Yeah, you can look up there. You can even see it from space. It is lighting. So look at the ceiling above now, you now, all of you. It's here, it's there, here at the Design Forum for Alberg, also at your home, on the ceiling, at the office, in your favorite supermarket, restaurant, airport, train station, there is lighting. It is everywhere. Everywhere where you work, live, shop, travel, eat, listen to talks, there is lighting. We know lighting for doing really nice things, creating great atmospheres. But today, I'm not going to talk about turning lights on and off. This next big, huge revolution will not be about illumination. It is going to be way bigger. The lights of the future will turn into 
high-tech products, similar as your phone turned into a smartphone, including sensors and internet access, smart lights will turn into smart lighting. Imagine the opportunities putting smart technologies into every light, in this room, in this whole building, even into every street light in whole cities. It will create the biggest network of smart technologies connected to the internet. It creates completely new opportunities. This big network is also called the Internet of Lighting. And this Internet of Lighting will help you to turn those unpleasant activities into nice, pleasant, and bright experiences. Let me give you some examples. Imagine it's Friday afternoon, after work, you get into your car, you drive to one of those huge supermarkets to do some grocery shopping. Arriving at the parking lot, you see that there is like thousands of people having the same idea as you. Lots of cars, aggressive drivers, people are honking, really bad. You drive in circles and circles to find a parking place, and finally, after 20 minutes, you found one. So, searching for a parking space can be a really annoying and stressful activity. And here is how smart lighting comes into play. Because street lights with integrated radar sensors detect any free parking space. They take this information and send it right to you, to your car navigation system or to your phone. You simply need to open the app and aim for the next available spot. You will save a lot of time and it will a way less stressful activity. So you park your car, you leave the car, you enter the supermarket. This huge maze. I mean, it's great to have a broad range of uh, choices, but it's quite hard to find everything what you need in this big store. So you take out your shopping list and start fighting through the crowds. You get some fruits, some vegetables, some bread, then again, frozen peas. Ah, there's some beer over there. So it's really a maze in this great supermarket. And next thing on the list, couscous. Where the heck do you find couscous in this football field-sized store? Actually, a shop assistant could help now. But as always, they are not there if you need them. So you start to find it on your own, but very soon after, you decide to give up. No couscous. In the meanwhile, you got impatient, angry, annoyed. You decide to leave this supermarket, rush to the cash desk, and queue up to pay. So it took you about 40 minutes in this freaking supermarket. And even worse, the shopping experience leaves you stressed out for another hour. And you know what? You even paid for this experience. Isn't this frustrating? So smart supermarket lighting will have integrated Bluetooth beacons. It is just a little box like this connected to every light. It sends a Bluetooth signal. And the Bluetooth lights communicate with each other and with your phone. The Bluetooth lights tell you your position in the store and recommend the fastest route through the supermarket based on your shopping list. You simply need to open the app and follow the route. It can also navigate you to some fancy products such as Couscous. Or you just locate the next shop assistant, or even better, the shop assistant locates you because you need some help. The Internet of Lighting can even inspire you by recommending some nice ingredients or spices that match with your shopping list. So, the Internet of Lighting will make your shopping experience more fun, more inspiring, brighter. Now, here's another example. Think of your work. 
Perhaps you work at an office, maybe even at one of those modern open office desks. That means you don't have your own fixed desk, but every morning you need to find one that is free. That means you could have another desk every day, and this is exactly the problem. So you enter the office, let's say around nine-ish, um, all the desks seem to be occupied already, and it takes you the first 15 minutes of your working day to find an available spot. Even worse, when you find a spot, you sit down, it feels somehow strange. A different light than yesterday, a different temperature than yesterday, it's a different location. Smart office lighting with integrated presence detectors tell you the next available desk. And more, there is also some air quality sensors integrated in every light, measuring temperature, humidity, CO2. Using those information, those values, they will tell the windows to open, the air conditioning to go up, and turn on the light according to your personal preferences. preferences. So, you found your desk, the morning starts getting busy, lots of appointments, people coming by at your desk, they want to talk to you, and it's always a hassle to find a quiet meeting place. Because checking the system, all the meeting rooms are booked, but you know, very often people book it, but then don't use it. But instead of checking all the meeting rooms one by one personally, you just ask the Internet of Lighting, hey, is there any free meeting room nearby? Cool, huh? So using an app that shows you the next available desk, that even makes the coffee machine uh, creating a coffee for you in the morning if you enter the room. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, we had this meeting room example. So I think it's quite comfortable to use the Internet of Lighting for your job. It helps you to focus on the relevant task at your job. As a result, you will be more productive and happier at work. A win-win situation for you and for your company. And lighting can be even more. It can actually save your life. Imagine a fire alarm in a multi-story office building. The alarm is triggered, the fire brigade rushes to the building, everything needs to be fast now. Firefighters need to find any injured people as quickly as possible. Smart lighting will help the firefighters because they provide, Internet of Lighting provides the firefighters information of people lying on the floor. Sensors detect injured people and send information to the firefighters. They have a very important job, and the Internet of Lighting helps them to focus on the most relevant part of it. As a result, the firefighters, firefighters will not only be proud, but also the people needing help in emergency situ situations will benefit a lot. So, you see, the Internet of Lighting will completely change the world we are living in. In the next few years, we'll experience this huge technology revolution. Today, I just gave you a few examples. At the parking lot, in the supermarket, at the office, and in emergency situations. And there are a lot more applications, because lighting is simply everywhere. Using smart technologies, the Internet of Lighting will help you and organizations to turn inefficient, unpleasant activities into efficient, pleasant, and bright experiences. I encourage you to keep this in mind. Never forget about the bright things in life. Never accept, <clears throat> sorry, never accept the gray things in life. Don't get used to them. Always question your unpleasant activities and try to turn them into pleasant, bright 
things in your life. I know it is a challenge, but I can promise you that people around the world work on the Internet of Lighting to make this happen for you very soon. Accept this challenge and light up your life.